Hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Bluetooth speaker that was sent to me by Divoom and this is called the Ditto or Ditto. I'm going to call it Ditto in this video. At first I thought it was a bit of a gimmick but after trying it for a while I found it quite interesting and my kids absolutely love it. And the best thing about it it's not only a Bluetooth speaker it's got loads of surprises inside it. Right so that being said don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Let me know what you think and let me know, is it something you'd be interested in? At the end of the video, we will be giving it like a, a let's crack on rating. Oi oi, so something a bit different. So Devoom sent me quite a few products out for me to take a look at. But today we're going to be looking at the D2 or D2. It's not a big speaker. But it's big enough. And that's what she said. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so first of all, it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's made of plastic, but it feels premium and sturdy. If I shake it, there's no rattling or anything like that. There's a bit of weight to it and it feels all right. You can see it's got a display that shows pixel animations or pixel art. And this is one of the things that makes it look different and unique. And I will show you shortly as well how you can make your own to put on there using the app. There's just loads of stuff you can do. Now, I'm not going to go through everything in this video, and I'm not going to go too in-depth with these videos either. But we will be covering it briefly. There's six buttons on it, and if I click it near the mic, you can hear it has got clicky keys. And some people absolutely love that. You've got an M button, which is obviously for the menu. You've got volume up and down. You've got forward and back keys, obviously for skipping songs. You've got a brightness key. They've also got a lever, and the lever's basically just for play, pause, or to select. And I know they could have added a button, but I think the lever adds to the effect. And each button has different functions as well, such as if I click on the menu button, that'll take me through to the menu. If I long hold the menu button, that'll turn off the backlit lights. So if you don't see the point in having backlit keys, you can long hold the M button and turn that off. Another thing is if I press on the brightness button, this will cycle through different animations or different pixel art. And then such as if I'm on the clocks, if I long hold the brightness button, this will take me through all the different clock faces I can have. So there's already a lot of things in there you can do, but when you actually add the app as well, there's just loads. If I go inside the menu and I go across, you're going to see it actually this game's inside it as well. If I click on that by selecting with the lever, there's quite a few games in here to choose from, and one that I absolutely love is Snake. If I click to play on that, and then start playing it, then you can use the keys on the speaker itself to play the game. Or, if you don't like using the keys on here, what you can do is use the app to control games as well. And then another thing to make it competitive, at the end, it gives you a high score, and then it's a way to make yourself look good in front of the family. <laughs> so the top we've got the actual speaker. On the back we've got like an air pocket. And I think they call it a bass reflex port. I'm not that sure. On the right side of the speaker we've got the on off button. Micro SD card slot. And USB type C for charging. And also when I was on a call recently. When I was close to the speaker I was alright. But when I walked away talking into my phone. They did say I were quiet, so there's actually a mic built in as well. So I'll quickly show you it with the app, and then we'll do a sound test, and then we'll give it the old let's crack on rating. <laughs> so if I open up the app on the home screen, you can see there's loads of different pixel art inside there that you can use on yours. They've got like a community thing on there, so you can use other people's work, or if you put your own on there, other people can use that as well. You've got a plus symbol at the bottom, if I click on that, and I go on such as design, you will see once I start drawing stuff, it comes up live on the speaker itself. This is one of the features my kids absolutely love. Another thing, if you click on the plus symbol and go on editor, what you can do is type something in. So if I type that in, then click on layer. You can click any of those, then click play at the bottom, and it'll start playing that text across it. If I go across to discover, you're going to see this more, and this brings up all different categories inside the app, one of them being a mixer. Now this brings up like a soundboard, and you can keep pressing different ones and it'll play different sounds. And 
And then across the top, you've also got different instruments. And this is something as well that keeps the kids entertained for ages. The only thing is, there's a slight sound delay. So if you know what you want to play on the keyboard, it can be a bit off-putting that you press a key, then half a second later it comes through the speaker. And also, on design, what we can do is click onto, like, an animation. So we can draw something in the first one, click on the tick, we can draw something in the second one. And once you've drawn a few different images, you can see it does play through those. It's just a way to have fun and be creative. And then also at the bottom, we've got such as stopwatch, we've got a countdown timer, you've got planners, so it can you can set reminders. There's just loads of stuff. And then if I also click on games, you can see a list of the games along the top. And like we said, you can use this as the remote as well. So if I go in Snake once again, and I click on Start, you can see I'm actually using the app as a controller to be able to play the game on the speaker. And now I'm quickly going to test the sound. I'm going to test the sound of the speaker as opposed to the sound coming from my phone. And in my opinion, some may think it sounds a little bit tinny. I've been more than happy using this in the hallway as one of the main speakers in my house. So unless you're really, really picky, it's not that bad. Take a look. So sound wise, maybe not the best using it next to a mobile, but I think it sounds pretty decent. When it comes to the let's crack on rating, yes there are different things that can be improved and the price of it, I think is around £70, which for a lot of people, including myself, I think that's a bit expensive. But for all the different features that's packed inside, it's not just a regular Bluetooth speaker, I love the retro look, I love how They've implemented different things into there. There's just a lot of things I do like about it. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Do you think it looks cool? Do you think it's any good? So yeah, that's it. Now nah, I'm going. Not used to doing these kind of videos. So in the future, I will start to learn the best ways of reviewing different products. But that's one of my first runs. So do go easy on me. Right. So that being said... I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. ta -da. The chair's lent right back. I don't know why. I don't know where the lever is. Oh, fucking hell, I nearly went through screen.